So you might be watching this and thinking to yourself, well, my DAW does this. I've got all those tools. I can do all those kind of cool things that you're talking about. Or you might not have the tools exactly the same. There might be some integrations you have to use, but generally it competes against Fairlight as a DAW. Here's the shocking thing. Hi, it's Russ from Production Expert. Today I want to talk about Fairlight. But before I do, I want to make something very clear. The expert team don't receive any income, any advertising revenue or anything from Blackmagic Design. They've not asked us to make this video. They don't even know we're making this video. And there's an article to accompany it that goes in some more detail about the things I'm going to talk about today. And the title, The Shocking Truth About Fairlight, is that the usual YouTube clickbait stuff? Not at all. When you hear what I'm about to say, it comes at the end of the video, why I'm so shocked. But when you hear it in the context of some of the things I'm going to talk about today and read the article and go even deeper, you'll realise it's truly shocking what Blackmagic Design are doing with Fairlight. The first thing I want to talk about is loudness. Loudness over a decade ago was hardly talked about. We had things like the loudness wars, but in terms of standardization, uh, it was all over the place. But these days, there's very clear standard guidelines for delivering music, TV, and film, and other content to loudness standards. Netflix have a loudness standard. Uh, lots of them do. Lots of the streaming services have loudness standard. And built into DaVinci Resolve, there are loudness tools. There's the loudness tools uh, while you're working, you can see the metering and you can change them, adjust them to, to meet different loudness standards. And you can see those in the article that we've written on the website. Uh, secondly, you can have a loudness plot that shows the entire loudness history of program material, whether that's a single, an album, a TV show or a movie, across your timeline. You can see the plot as you're mixing and it's updated as you're mixing as well. So there's those loudness tools. And if you're really struggling with the loudness and getting it right, then there's a really cool feature within DaVinci Resolve and in Fairlight, which basically means you can bounce your entire mix to two ch channels or the amount, whatever channel count you're working to. It could be Atmos, and I'll talk about that in a moment. You can bounce to uh, a, a new, set, a new uh, mix, and then you can normalize that mix to a loudness standard. All really helpful tools as we deal with loudness standards. That's the first thing I want to say about Fairlight. The second thing I want to talk about is Atmos and the integration of Atmos within Fairlight and in the studio version, which is the payful version, is incredible. You can work in Atmos in a completely native way. You, you can bring in uh, a Dolby Atmos file and mix it. You can export out. There's no need to use external software for rendering and for even down mixing and even listening to it binaurally. That all came in DaVinci Resolve 18 as part of the studio package. So the Atmos integration within DaVinci Resolve and within Fairlight is second to none. It's brilliant. And even some of the industry standard DAWs that we think about every day, their integration isn't as good right now. So that's the second thing I want to talk about is the Atmos integration is at a professional level. As a professional, you could go, and there's some great videos out there made by people like Michael Wagner. Go and look at those on YouTube, where he talks about uh, the Atmos integration within Fairlight. The third thing I want to talk about is audio restoration. Now, over the years, we've seen some amazing tools from people like Isotope with RX and Acon Digital with their restoration tools. But built right into uh, Fairlight and in the studio version, you've got things like voice isolation, and we do a test on the site and we put it up against uh, the Waste Clarity VX, which is regarded by many as one of the leading real-time audio cleaners for dialogue right now. And we do some tests, I put them against each other. And, and it, it fares incredibly well against one of the leading plugins in the industry. And that comes free within Fairlight Studio. Then there's other restoration tools like uh, a dialogue cleaner, an audio restoration cleaner, there's a, a D-Hummer built in. And also, if you've still got your favorite tools like uh, Isotope RX or the uh, Acon Acoustica and their restoration tools, within Resolve, you can right mouse click on an audio clip and you can open those tools within while you're working in that workflow, fix it, and then save it straight back to the timeline. There's no need for ARA or other third party integrations. It just works. You just open your favorite audio editor, fix it, change it, do whatever you need to do. 
yeah, whatever it needs to be and back straight into fair light. It's that simple. And while we're talking about fixing things and changing things, there's clip-based audio treatment, which is non-destructive. What I mean by non-destructive is in some DAWs, if you want to do clip-based audio treatment, you have to render it into the clip. You have to bake it in the clip, and then you have to go back and find the original clip or make duplicates and all that sort of stuff. Within DaVinci Resolve, on a clip-by-clip -clip basis, you can change things like you can re a clip, you can do the, the voice isolation, you can level the clip, you can add third-party plugins on that clip, and it's all non-destructive on a clip-by-clip -clip basis. That's really powerful, because sometimes you might want to just, if you're an effects editor and, and creating an effects bed or something for a movie, you might want to just apply an echo or reverb to just one clip on that entire timeline. It's very easy in Fairlight. It's that simple. So, so far I've talked about loudness, I've talked about Atmos, I've talked about audio restoration, I've talked about clip-based effects and changes to the audio. So you might be watching this and thinking to yourself, well, my DAW does this. I've got all those tools. I can do all those kind of cool things that you're talking about. Or you might not have the tools exactly the same. There might be some integrations you have to use, but generally it competes against Fairlight as a DAW. Here's the shocking thing. Fairlight isn't being sold as a DAW. Fairlight is the audio treatment part of a video editing software application. That's the shocking thing about Fairlight, that if you look in applications, and I've recently come from Final Cut to DaVinci Resolve, mainly because of the Fairlight part, is that if you look at other things like Premiere or Final Cut, and you compare their audio treatment tools with what is effectively a full-blown DAW within DaVinci Resolve, you have to be shocked by how good it is how it compares and beats some of the best doors on the market for features and for flexibility. Now, I'm not saying this because I think that you should ditch your DAW today and start using Fairlight. What I would say is you should try it out because you should have it as a tool in your arsenal. And some of the things I've talked about today are in the free version. And I would suggest that everybody download the free version and have it on their machine and get to use it because it's an incredible piece of software even the free version. And many of us are working with video these days. And what you've got to remember with DaVinci Resolve is you've got an ingest, you've got a cutting part, you've got fusion, which means that you can do motion graphics and all sorts of cool stuff like tracking screens into new screens. You've got one of the best coloring applications on the market in terms of their, their color part to it, which is where it all came from in the beginning. And then you have the audio treatment in Fairlight. The shocking truth is that this is just part of an incredible application and I'm, I'm blown away by it. And I think it's well worth investigation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.